Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Fight the Dragon. My setup is so weird right now. I'm kind of in a between state, so I can't tell whether or not I'm recording. I hope I'm recording. So, we're in the middle of the campaign Road to Corvich. This is the last mission in the campaign. This campaign, we do have part one. We're going to move on to part two next episode. But here we are, Mazalkan's tomb. After leaving the dead forest, you enter the Palm Oasis. However, to cross this desert, you must pass through an old tomb which acts as a tunnel. That sounds like really bad civic engineering, but sure. Only one key to worry about. Is this actually going to let us drop off into the world? Yes, it will. That's a worry right there. Do not drop off at the edge of the world. Um, okay, now I'm just expecting doom. But all we have are scarabs. Shouldn't be too bad. Especially if they just nicely explode like that. Scarabs, beetles, I don't know what you want to call them. We did sell our, all of our stuff so we can feel free to pick up anything we want. I think not picking up anything that's um, less than rare, probably a good idea. Let's kill all these beetles. Yeah, we'll kill everything around the tomb first. That's just common, average stuff. We're not going to worry about it. Nice palm tree. Let's make sure no little beetles sneak up on us later. Not that it's possible, but you know, story-wise, it might be possible. What the hell is that? That is a Spear of Aggression, which is rare, so we'll pick it up. Okay, there's this tomb that I thought they were talking about. Yeah, there's a trap door there. But someone just fired something at me. Who was that? Well, it wasn't you, little slug. Nope, oh, but it might have been you, little spider. I do hate spiders. Well, okay. In real life, not so much. Weak greatsword. Probably two-handed. It is just junk, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, that was the guy who was... Yeah, that might have been it. Might have been just the one spider. Um, yeah, in real life, spiders are allowed to stay in my house so long as they don't, you know... So actually, so long as they're on the ceiling. And it's really hard to train spiders to stay on the ceiling, i got to tell you. Um, I mean, it's not so much a training as a squish. Well, it depends on my mood, actually. Sometimes I'll squish the spider, but other times I'll just push them outside. And in that case, I will tell them, you know what, I was fine with you being in the house, but as soon as you crawl down on the wall, you have to go. And I let them outside. Now, it's hard to tell that if it's the same spider I get again, if they, you know, learn their lesson. I've never seen a dune worm before, have I? I don't remember a dune worm. What the hell is this doing to me? It's kind of sort of hurting me, but... You know, what is this? It's not going to tell me when I hover over it. Well, it's only kind of hurting. I mean, it's only doing like one point of hit damage. I have no idea what that's supposed to do. Maybe it's supposed to obscure my vision or decrease my accuracy or... I don't know, but he's dead now. Did nothing to me, really. Sure, I'll take it. Extraordinary items I will take. So yeah, I have no idea if that actually works or if it's, you know, training spiders later on. But it seems, and this is only, you know, anecdotal evidence, which is no evidence at all, to tell the truth. But it seems like... More and more often, I will see a spider stay on the ceiling and not go on the walls or floor or anything. Now, it could be that I'm just really bad in my old age. Old age, yeah. Only in my 30s. Um, and so I'm not spotting them as they come down the floor, or they've learned enough to at least wait until I go to bed before they decide to roam the halls. Really don't know why spiders want to go down the floor. There's a perfectly good ceiling that goes everywhere. I'm okay with them going down to like the door frame. Okay, this is another entrance. Yeah, tombs of Mazal Khan. That's the one I wanted. So what the heck's the other tomb? Is that like just a side quest tomb? I'm really confused. Archaeologist. Glyphs are definitely magnificent. If you can't understand them, we'll read it out loud what it translates to. Seek death that is fine at light's dawn. That sounds like a horrible idea. I don't want to seek death. 
I'm seeking, you know, glory, fame, maybe some loot. Lights dawn must refer to sunrise, so east. Yeah, thanks. Freaking Indiana Jones wannabe doesn't even have a good hat. Anything over here? There's some water. It's fine. So let's go look at that other tomb, though. Because wasn't it Mazal Khan's tomb we needed that acted as the tunnel? So what the hell is this? This is... Oh, there's no sign. So I guess we just go in and find out. Oh, hello there. Um, I would like to not subscribe to your newsletter. There's a fire starter mummy here. That seems like a bad occupation for a mummy. Here, we'll use the hatchet and hack these guys down. Maybe, possibly. This hatchet's not doing doing crap all for damage, really, is what it comes down to. Okay, Mr. Firestarter, what do you got for me? You gonna start a fire? You are totally gonna start a fire. Um, here, have some rage. Have some rage, I said. Have some rage, I said. Okay, I burned a little bit, but not too badly. There's a barrel, so I should expect a barrel puzzle, I suppose. These guys are not affected by knockback. That is not cool. It means I'm going to get hit. It's okay, that wasn't nearly so bad. Five points of damage, I can eat that. Um, if I can do rage, though... Rage does not knock them back. It stops them, but that's it. Four damage. I really need to increase my defense stat if I'm going to keep tinking hits like this. Okay, gold I will take. Sure, Bracers of Vigor. Why not? Possibly just need to hit them and then move backwards more instead of just staying in one place. Or just doing more damage. That helps too. Come on, guys. Come over here. Oh, I've totally not whistled in forever. I've totally either forgotten how or my mouth is just too dry. And also I kind of realized that it'd probably be a bad idea to whistle into the microphone when some of you guys are wearing headphones. And so, you know, I thought of you. That's going to be my excuse. I thought of you guys. Hope you appreciate that I didn't whistle in your ear. So I know I hate it when people do that to me. Not just Let's Players. I mean... I don't know if I had a big sign saying target on my back or something, but when I was in high school, people used to do stupid stuff like that. And then I would punch them, and they would not understand why. And I'd have to go and explain it to them was all a very huge deal. Come on, guys. Come over here. Come on. Here, doggy doggy. I keep expecting these guys to throw, like, curses at me, but there's no magic form of these mummies, is there? That's what really needs to happen, is like a, I guess, kind of a frost mummy, I guess, suppose? So does that help at all? Yeah, not really, huh? I need to use the barrel. All right. That's how it goes. That's why they gave us the barrel here in the first place. Um... The trick is that I put the switches down at the wrong time. Should I put this down first and then put down the switches? Does it matter? Hopefully it doesn't matter. Oh, there was another barrel. Why did I need... Gloves of queasiness. Seriously? That's all you got for me in there? That's right. There's another switch over here. Okay, that pulled that. So what's that barrel for? There must be another switch, obviously. Yeah, come over here, buddy. There we go. That's what I want to see. More death. There we go. Then, sure enough, lots of switches. And lots of mummies. Should be able to train these guys away. Two. Okay, don't hit me. This guy seems to have more health, or I'm doing worse damage. Should be doing a decent amount. Oh, nice. Can I actually use that? I think my current helmet... Oh no, my current helmet is also extraordinary. This does luck plus four and damage with things that I don't use, so I don't care. Come over here, little mummy. So I guess we just... I don't know. I was going to say we stand on one. Well, I guess maybe only one of these is a true switch, right? 
That wasn't it. That wasn't it. Okay. So we do need both barrels, but how do we... Oh, unless the switch made it so the barrels don't need to be there. Okay, that still needs to be there, but we don't need that barrel anymore. But we don't need that switch there anymore because that... We already have the barrel right here. Because we took it out prematurely. There we go. So what do we got? We have a bunch of junk. Boy, that was worthless. How about this? Two rage potions. All right, not exactly exciting. And sure enough, this was just a side quest dungeon. It wasn't the actual passageway. But I guess it's a good prep for the real adventure as we traverse the road to Corvish. So yeah, it was this way, right? Yeah, it was this way, okay. And we got a health potion and two rage potions out of it. Not a great haul, but I guess a decent one. Don't care about that helmet. Yeah, so here we go. This is a true tomb. Yeah, I don't care about those gloves. Okay. Well, we're not attacked straight off the bat, so I appreciate that. Archaeologist? Yep. Hello, Indiana Jones. Glyphs are the what the other guy was reading. They opened the way out. Oh, the other guy. That's funny. You got the same face. So, poor guy is too bad to ask for help. Sure he is. Um, yeah, don't care. Health potion. Thank you. And rage potion. All right. Um, another archaeologist. Well, you guys are just all over the place, aren't you? You wouldn't happen to know how to open this thing, would you? My stage is glyphs for around three hours. I think I know what it says. Though my tongue of the ancient isn't as good as some of our other archaeologists, I believe it says, Kep mother for Gurkapan. Oh, looks like it's opening. Okay. <laughs> There's got to be a rule against reading inscriptions out loud when you're in a universe where magic is real. Just, you know, throwing that out there. Now, granted, if you don't know magic is real, then I think you get a free pass the first time. But then you should widely publicize the knowledge that magic is real so that people will know and then people won't die horribly because, you know, stuff. That's a lot of mummies. Huh. So am I just going to be picking something at random? I guess I saw a barrel. Yeah, right here. So I guess I can drop one here. I don't know if I need to do all of these. Only some of them. Maybe only two. I just need the barrel, dude. I don't care about what you want. There we go. So my guess is you need a combination, and the wrong combination opens a door of doom. Maybe they all open doors of doom. Well, that isn't it. Yeah, I guess I'll just go around. Oh, okay, that one opened something. So move this barrel over here and see if that was the combination that did it. Nope, that wasn't it. It's okay. This one needs to be... What is this one here? I don't remember now. We'll find out in a minute. Yep, there we go. Okay, you guys all need to die really, really fast. I'll lead you over to the archaeologists. You'll like them. Not that I'm trying to set you up on a data roll or anything, you know. I'm sure you guys have... Many interesting people in the afterlife? I guess that's the problem, really. I mean, that's why mummies always, you know, seem so pissed, is because they were promised an afterlife, then someone goes over, scoops their brain out through their nose, and wants them to be happy for it. Well, yeah, I'd attack too. I was lied to. I was expecting an afterlife. And all I got was this lousy um, papyrus suit. Might be papyrus. I have no idea what kind of wrappings mummies have. I would guess. Well, I guess it's linen, right? Might be linen. But you know, linen wrinkles a lot, very, very easily. So that can't be too good for you either. I mean, you wake up and you know you're expecting this nice afterlife, and not only do you wake up in a decrepit body, but in a ruined suit. That's got to drive anybody crazy. 
poor, poor mummies. And then I just go and slaughter them all. So, you know, I'd hope, hopefully then at least they get some measure of an afterlife. Sword of Speed. Yeah, sure, why not? I suppose I could see if it's better than my current hatchet, which only kind of sort of hits sometimes when it feels like it on every other Sunday. That's not fair. That's not actually what happens. I'm just bad at aiming. These guys, though, no problem. Um, here, take that. Okay, so let's see what the sword does. 16 to 31, so it has a wider range, and I guess that's just true of all swords in general. I like the higher damage in there, so we'll do the sword. It looks a little decrepit in the uh, sprite, but that's all right. Oh, switch to our ranged weapon, though, because we don't want this guy to come too close to us if we can help it. And there seems to be another exit. We'll see if it's the exit or just, you know, a trap exit. Wouldn't put a trap exit past the creator here. Well, took us out of the world somewhere. But is this the end that we want? We haven't found the golden key yet. Golden key? Is that what we're looking for? Or is it the copper key? I think that's the golden key we want. Hardy chest, don't care, just common. Lots of scarabs still. I'm guessing the golden key takes us to the uh, takes us to the end of the campaign. Well, I mean, this is the last mission of the campaign, but yeah, I think. Oh no, we can just leave. Oh, nice. We didn't even need the golden key. But do we want to leave? So we know the way out. Kind of, sorta. Of. By no, I mean we managed to figure it out by pure guess. But we know the way out now. So there's got to be... I mean, there's usually a boss chest in these adventures. And we've skipped over it. So all we have to do is memorize the pattern that let us get out here. Which was this. Um, so if we number these, if we go left, right. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the pattern we want is 1, 4. So remember 1, 4. And then try to get the others to work somehow. So leaving that one where it is. Okay, didn't open up any of the others. So let's move it over here. And then try to open up this door somewhere. Oh, wait. Yep, that opened that one. Okay. So move the barrel over here. One four is what we want, though. This is a varying. Hopefully, this just gets us more experience, more loot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There is a lich in there, or at least it looks like a lich, which might cost us a life, but I'm okay with that. Um, we really just want to taunt out all the mummies if we can, though. The less we have to deal with, the better. Sure, we'll pick up the helm. Why not? Frostbite guy. Yeah, just you. Nobody else. Oh, come on. You can come through the door, can't you? Sure you can. You're a nice, brave, strong boy. Girl. Mummy. Yeah, how do you tell the sex after, you know, the brain's been pulled out their ears? Or nose, I guess. Hardy. Oh, Maz Khan. Hello, Maz Khan. And I'm on fire. He's a fire mage. Well, on the upside, he's not a necromancer. <laughs> On the downside, I seem to have stepped into the flame. Um, this is going to hurt so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, because now there's the spawner. There's a whole bunch of chests here, though. Oh, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Um, and checkpoint will help, too. Now, the spawner is a problem, I will admit. It's a problem I did not foresee. Yeah, I'll pick up the gloves of vigor. Why not? But if we can... Oh, I'm just inside his range, huh? It's all right. We can take care of these guys. I think these guys are what's coming out of the spawner, though. I mean, the less guys we have to deal with, obviously, the better. So the more I can pick them off this way, great. But here. And then again. And then again. Yeah, 
I know I took a lot of damage there, but I think it was worth it. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, did he die? Yes, he's dead. Okay, now it's just a spawner. Just a spawner, he says, as if it's a trivial matter. Um, rage potion might be what I want here more than health. Um, I need to be able to pick it up, though. I keep forgetting that it's F, not B. There we go. B and spawner. Kill it. Kill it. It's not dead yet. <laughs> it's not dead yet. Um, but I think the spawner is now spawning guys behind it, so it might be okay. Oh, man. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Okay, we're good. And now spawner dead, right? Yes. Okay. Spawner's dead. Now we just have, you know, the half dozen guys here. So we decided to show up for the party. If I die here, though, it's okay. Because then we can come back with full health in a later life. Kind of like the mummies wanted to do. How do you feel about that, mummies? I do what you do, or what you wanted to do, effortlessly. At least I don't come back as a mummy. That'd be an interesting mechanic, wouldn't it? You die in a video game, and then your next life you come back as, I don't know, some kind of undead, mummy, zombie, vampire, whatever. Oh, he has a golden key. Okay. Cool. Take the golden key. Thank you. So what's in here? Lots of loot, I hope. Shield of vision. Nice. Don't know if it's better than what I have, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Gold, take it. Gold, take it. You know, if the other one, if the other door has this kind of payout, that'd be pretty cool. But you know what I'm missing here is a boss chest. Do not see a boss chest. So I'm guessing that is through this other door. So is the code we wanted? We wanted one four. Okay. Well, we're not done with this yet. So let's tap all these others. Yep. There we go. That was it. So, view over here. Oh, no, that's the one four. Duh. Um, so, let's leave one here. Huh, maybe it only takes, like, two switches at a time. No, nothing in the two slot. Um, where did it have it in the three slot? Let's try it over here. Oh, not there, dummy. Here. And then try running around and seeing if that does anything. Can we already do this, though? It'd be funny if that door just can't be opened. I could have sworn we've already done this pattern. Yeah, see, nothing there, and I know we've done this one before, right? Could have sworn. Yeah, see, that opens that one. I wouldn't think there'd be very many combinations. Let's move this over to... Guess this slot. I can't seem to open that door. Huh. It's weird. Didn't I put it there? I could have sworn I put it there before. Now I'm just trying things I've tried before. That's just silly. Well, that's it then. I can't seem to get through that door. I think I've tried every permutation. I might have missed one. But I think this episode's gone on long enough, don't you? Let's go ahead and pop that. And we got a neat new shield, so really I can't be too salty about that. Um, let's see what the shield's like. Shield, shield, shield. 67.3, that is definitely better. And luck plus 5, so that's nice too. Plus 8 experience per kill is even better. Oh, we need a luck 3, which we don't have yet. That is too bad. Well, next episode we might level up. So all we have to do is keep the shield on standby. And then we should be able to use it. It should be nice. It's so, okay. Let's go ahead and head out of the world. Wherever the hell that was. Oh, here we go. That's right. It was out this way. And, yep. There we go. Into the adventure. Thank you very much. Got some more coins. Got some more stuff. Hey, zero deaths. Really? Huh. It's funny. I thought <laughs> I thought for sure I doubt a lot more than that. But okay, sure. I'll believe it. Why the hell not? 
And you know what? We have a little bit of time. Why don't we go ahead and kill the dragon once? And we're not going to actually kill the dragon. We're going to fight the dragon. You can see I didn't <clears throat> didn't make much progress. But I do have some fireproof armor now. Or at least not fireproof. Fire resistant. Which will help. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it didn't help at all. And I'm standing in the wrong freaking square. Yeah. See? That breath attack. Gotta make sure he doesn't do that every single time. Yeah, so that fireproof doesn't seem to do squat. Am I doing... Am I actually taking less damage? It seems like I'm taking more. I think he levels with you. Which I suppose makes sense. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much you can expect, right? I mean, yeah, he's gonna level with you. He doesn't seem to advance his tactics, but he definitely ups his damage. That's disappointing. I do have my shield, but I can only take so much damage before it just collapses under the weight of its own whatever the hell. Um, its own whatever the hell, yes. I'm an English major, yes I am. I can prove it. I have the degree and everything. Doesn't mean anything, anyone can print a degree. Seriously, you're just gonna... Yeah, okay. I'm not actually sure the fire resistance is doing any good whatsoever. As soon as this is done, which is going to be really short now, not going to be able to make it 3,000 damage, which is what I was doing before. But no, there's no way I'm going to do 3,000 damage here. There's no way. So I'm going to have to look at my stats for this armor and see what I'm missing. Because it probably says, like, against fire damage, but maybe this is dragon fire and that's different? I could see that, actually. Dwarf Fortress does the same thing, where there's fire, and there's magma, and there's dragon fire. And dragon fire is the real, the real killer. Um, dragons can immerse themselves in magma. Can they? I actually don't remember. It's been too long since I played Dwarf Fortress. Almost made it 3,000, but we still didn't beat the best damage. Yeah, I mean, next rewards in 3,000. Do you think we should play again? Let's look at the armor first before we do that. So what does the armor say? It says minus 18 damage from fire. But yeah, it might just be dragon fire. It might not be... It might be what dragon's showing us is not fire fire, but dragon fire. So it doesn't count. That's disappointing. But it does make a little bit of sense. Are we going to be able to do 3,500 damage this time? I don't know. I'd like to. That's right, we're pretty close to platinum anyway for the prayer. So it doesn't matter too terribly much. Um, we'll go ahead and do this one fight. Die horribly, as is our custom. And then, uh, and then do the prayer. Yeah, am I not doing nearly as, up, as much damage? I'm doing like 50. Was I doing 60-something? I don't remember. And you guys wouldn't know, actually, because that was during the silent era when I was very, very quiet. And then I did, like, two weeks worth of episodes. So that was about 10 episodes-ish that you guys just never saw. Which I apologize for. But, I mean, I can't say that I did anything terribly exciting. I mean, there were some pretty good missions in there. But there's a good chance that we'll roll up those as they happen just randomly. Um, it's strange that some of the missions are now no longer available that I previously did. And I just stupidly took them out of the rotation. We might actually make 3,000. I don't know if we're going to make 3,500, but we might. Um, but when I took them out of the rotation because I wanted to do it fresh, um, it did pop up a warning saying, that you may never be able to play these missions again. And I thought, oh, that's silly. Why would anyone take the mission off? And then it turns out, well, maybe they didn't take the mission off, but you just can't find it for whatever reason, as sometimes happens, apparently. There's only so much space on the Fight the Dragon servers that they can, you know, they can hold so many missions at a time, but somewhere around 6,000 appears to be their limit. Okay, the sh buckler has pretty much met its end. 
I'm not gonna make it to 3,000, I don't think. Oh no, wait. Nope, there we go. Just made it three. Great. Okay, and we're still on our second life. Third life might actually hit 3,500. We might actually hit the... Yeah, we're gonna hit the marker. Nice. We got another dragon ring of questionable utility. I always think they're questionable utility. I don't know. There's probably a good use for them. Aside from just throwing them into the altar. But, I mean, they will take you up a full step in the altar. From gold to platinum, or from silver to gold, or bronze to silver, or whatever. So I think it's just... It's more useful just to throw them into the fire, really. So to speak. And I'm dead. Didn't quite hit 4,000. Okay. Ring of Vampirism. Every attack restores HP, but health that de de decays over time. So, basically, it'll kill you. I mean, there's no way you do enough... Yeah. There's no way that you do enough damage to make that worthwhile. We didn't beat the best damage? What the hell is my best damage? That's a very good question. I don't remember. Did I actually hit 4,000 at one point? That'd be pretty funny. And sounds like something I might have forgotten. Okay, so let's just go ahead and dump the dragon ring in. Well, actually, no, let's not. Let's dump some of this other stuff in. Um, I can't use this yet, but we want to keep it, so we'll put it over here. And then I think we can just... Yeah, we can just throw everything else into the shrine. Um, yeah, just that's fine. Go ahead and throw it in the shrine. Almost to platinum. Nearly there. Nearly there. So close. So close. There we go. We got it. Platinum. So what do we got? Legendary shoulders, plus five stamina, or back slot. Really? That's it? <laughs> um, I mean, I keep finding legendary stuff, so I'm not too worried about that. Plus five stamina I'm not too wild about because I don't run that much. Unless stamina is used for something else, I don't. So, yeah, back slot. If it gave me extra health... I would take it if it boosted one of these, the Strength, Defense, Luck, Endurance, boosted one of those stats. Oh, that's funny. I can switch to another character. Um, that'd be great, but it doesn't. So, so what? So let's go ahead and cast this into the flame. Yeah, see? Boosted me all the way up to almost silver. And let's go ahead and just, yeah, dump everything else. And there we go. We're past silver already. And we'll hit probably gold next time. And so, that'll be the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we will attack the second part of the road to Corvich. So, this has been Fight the Dragon. I've been Peace the Universe. You've been Peace the Universe too. And I will see you guys next time.